This is Bob Capetta from the University of Illinois at Chicago, and this lesson is an integration by parts example. Before we get into that, let's take a look at a review question. Take a look at the integral of e to the kx dx, where k is a non-zero real number. Now, you may have memorized this, but I think it's useful to remind ourselves of how this is done with a u substitution. We know the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The integral of e to the x is e to the x. But what about the integral of e to the kx? To do this, we want to do a u substitution. So we're going to let u equal kx. The derivative with respect to x of u is the derivative with respect to x of kx. The derivative with respect to x of u is du dx. Derivative with respect to x of kx is k. So du is k dx. I like to solve for dx. That's my preferred strategy. So du divided by k is dx. So kx is u. dx is du divided by k. That will enable us to do this fairly easily. Substituting u for kx, substituting du over k for dx, we're here. Now the k is a constant. It's in the denominator, so we can pull it in front of the integral sign s1 over k. So we get the integral of 1 over k e to the u du, pulling the 1 over k out, 1 over k integral of e to the u du. Integral of e to the u is e to the u, 1 over k e to the u plus c, 1 over k e to the kx over c. Or what you want to memorize or remember for the integral of e to the kx is that it is e to the kx over k. So that'll help us with the next problem we're going to look at. So here we go, integral of 3x e to the 5x dx. This is going to be solved with integration by parts. Remember our formula. Our formula was the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. So we know that. To determine that, looking at this question, what is going to be u, what is going to be dv? Typically, u is the thing that is easy to differentiate. dv is the thing that's easy to integrate. You could argue both of these are relatively easy. But the fact is, if you differentiate x or 3x, you get a smaller term. And that's going to be helpful for us. So that's going to be our first hint that u is going to be 3x. So that's what I want to use. And we're going to go ahead and get du from this. So the derivative with respect to x of u is the derivative with respect to x of 3x. Derivative with respect to x of u is du dx. Derivative with respect to x of 3x is 3. Uh, solving for du, then du is 3dx. So we made our ch choice for u. This thing, e to the 5x dx, is going to have to be dv. We need a u and a dv with integration by parts. So dv is e to the 5x dx. We're going to get v by integrating both sides. Integral of dv is the integral of e to the 5x. Here we go. That's what I gave you in the review problem. The integral of e to the kx is e to the kx over k plus c. It'll be e to the 5x over 5 plus c. But the fact of the matter is we just need 1, so we're going to choose c to equal 0 so that v will be e to the 5x over 5. If you chose a different c, it really wouldn't matter, but it's tradition to use as c is 0 for this sort of strategy. Integral of u dv u dv 3x e to the 5x dx is uv uv 3x e to the 5x over 5 minus the integral of v du v e to the 5x over 5 du 3 dx. So making those substitutions we're now here. Well how is this going to work? We can simplify that by making it 3 fifths x e to the 5x. This 3 fifths is a constant that can come in front of the integral sign. And what's that going to give us? 3 fifths x e to the 5x minus 3 fifths the integral of e to the 5x. One more time we have what I gave you earlier. Integral of e to the kx is e to the kx over k. Integral of e to the 5x is e to the 5x over 5. And now we're able to go ahead and simplify this. First part, it is already simplified. 3 fifths times 1 fifth will be 3 25ths e to the 5x. And that is going to be our solution. 3 fifths x e to the 5x minus 3 25ths e to the 5x plus c. Using integration by parts. And that will conclude this video.